The experiment was done in 1962. Hello, my name is Jisoo and I'm going to be the four participants. Hi, I'm Jude. I'll be acting as an angry one. Oh, hi, I'm Prim and I'm going to be um, acting as the one who's funny, crazy. Yeah. Hi, I'm I and I'm going to be the researcher. A describable emotion should be created by both physiological arousal and cognitive label. The participants were 185 male participants students were in the first year four groups as follows. Okay, so today you're going to get our new vitamin and it's going to make your heart beat a little faster and it's a side effect. The next group of participants is going to be injected with the same drug, but we will tell them the fake side effects. Let's go. Hi, so today you're going to get a vitamin injected to you, and this to make you a little itchy, and that's fine. You can just it. The third group of participants will get the same drug, but they will not be told of any side effects. Well, today you come here to get a vitamin, and this vitamin is really good. It will have no side effects to cover yet. And now, um, let's do, let's do. Okay. So. Last group of participants will be um, given just a saline solution, but they will have no idea of that. They will think it's just a vitamin. It's a solid solution, so it's nothing. Like, I feel like I'm so stupid that I just don't get anything in the exam. Just, I feel so stupid, so dumb. Like, why am I in this world? Like, I'm such a waste of space. I don't want to be in this world anymore. I feel so dumb. I know! Like, I failed my test. Like, oh! Oh, I'm here. And the school, they don't want me to be in this world. Like, I'm so like normally not as much influenced by the actors but for a group B and C where they were given the false symptoms and where they um, didn't know what will happen to them um, they had been influenced by the actors emotions. The two factor theory. An example would be one case that when a man sees a ghost he had a cognitive label arise that says Ghosts are scary. At the same time, he, his body also says a signal for flight or fright reaction created by the rise in adrenaline, making his heart beat faster, boosts his energy, increasing his blood pressure, and these two factors will contribute to the emotion arises that is scared. This is a simplified version of the model. First, um, the emotional state was not controlled, so we don't know how each of the participants felt when they came into the room and see the actor. Artificial injection may have caused emotional state change. Um, you don't you don't normally get an adrenaline boost unless like your system is exposed to a stimulus or fear. But now we're giving them the artificial injection, so we don't know if that had any emotional 
effects. The significant results of behavioral change is not really a good indication of studies because how will you know the levels of emotions of a person? It has no scale.